Amidst much enthusiasm and months of preparation, the 61st session of the Boro Sahitya Sabha concluded on Wednesday at Gujan Pathar in Tamulpur. A festive atmosphere prevailed in Tamulpur with the presence of people from different ethnic groups thronging the venue. The first day program was initiated with inauguration of main gate by BTC chief Pramod Boro followed by the inauguration of guest house by Assam State BJP President Bhavesh Kalita. President Ramnath Kobin addressed the concluding session of the Boro Sahitya Sabha. While addressing the session, President Kobin appreciated the combined efforts of the Union Government and the State Government for bringing peace and fast pace development in Northeast region in recent years. The President said language and literature connect the people. He also appreciated the efforts of the Boro Sahitya Sabha for their initiatives for development and promotion of Boro language and said it is the duty of the society to protect and preserve a language. Mitro, my attention is also on this thing that the May of May is a great deal for the Boro and the Boro and the Boro. Every year, you all have a great deal for the Boro and Upendra Nath Brahma Ji. जो आज से तीन दिन पहले ही थी बोडोफा ने जियो और जीने दो का जो महान संदेश था उसको प्रसारित किया था बोडो आत्म गौरव के प्रति सचेत रहते हुए सभी समुदायों के साथ सद्भाव बनाए रखने का बोडोफा का संदेश हम सभी के लिए एक मंत्र जैसा है मैं उनके संदेश को उन्हीं के शब्दों में ठीक ठाक तो कह, नहीं कह सकता लेकिन उनके संदेश को बोडो भाषा में दोहराने का प्रयास जरूर करूंगा उन्होंने कहा था थान आरो थाना नहीं थानो हा बोरो साहित्य सभा इज द लार्जेस्ट लिटरेरी एंड कल्चरल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ द बोरो पीपल इट वर्क्स फॉर प्रमोशन ऑफ बोडो लैंग्वेज लिटरेचर एंड कल्चर On November 16, 1952, Boro Sahitya Sabha was founded under the presidency of Joy Bhadra Hazgir. The first general secretary was Sonaram Thausen. Since its inception, Boro Sahitya Sabha is working for development and promotion of Boro language. Linguistically, the Boros include a large group of people who are the speakers of the Tibeto-Burman speeches of the North and East Bengal, Assam and Burma. They are the Boros or Boros of the Brahmaputra Valley. As per the classification given by Robert Schneefer in the Linguistic Survey of India, describes the Boros or the Boro Kasaris as a member of the Boros subsection under the Assam Burma group of the Tibetan Burman branch of the Sino-Tibeto-Chinese speech family. The Boro speaking areas of Assam at present are stretching from Dhubri in the west to Saudia in the east. Racially, the Boros, the earliest non-ethnic group to inhabit to Assam with their distinctive culture and linguistic traits belong to the Mongoloid stock of the Indo-Mongoloids or Indo-Tibetans. The language of the Boros is called Boro, Boro Rao. It is known as the Mechi and Boro Rao in Nepal and North Bengal, Dimasa in the North Kacha and Borak or the Kok Borak in Tripura. This language has many sister languages in Assam and they are Mishing, Rabha, Tiwa, Khamti, Garo, Moran, Hazong, etc. According to Dr. Sukumar Sen, the name Boro is directly connected with the early new Indo-Aryan Vota which probably indicate Tibetan and elite peoples and their languages which were closely connected in the northern and northern eastern region. The retention of the name by the present day Boro speakers indicates that it was once regarded as the most powerful language of the Bhota group of speakers. The book in Boro language published for the first time was Boroni Fisha O Ayan, Laws of the Boros. It was the customary laws of the Boros of Southern Bank of Brahmaputra under the then divided Gwalpara district of Assam published in 1915 by Habragat Boro Sanmiloni. It was bilingual Boro and Bengali. On the other hand, the first organization among the Boros on language and literature was formed in 1917 in the name and style of Dakshin Kul Boro Sahitya Sanmiloni, Boro Sahitya Sabha of Southern Bank by the Boros of the Southern Bank of Brahmaputra under the then undivided Gwalpara district of Assam. The third session of the organization was held in 1919 at Dhudnoi. 
In 1919, the first Boro student organization was formed by the students of Cotton College, Guwahati, with Khogendra Narayan Brahma as the president and Satish Chandra Basmatari as general secretary. The first magazine in Boro was Bieber, published by Boros in 1924. With a view to developing Boro language and literature, especially to establish Boro language as medium of instruction, a literary organization was formed by the educated youths of Dhubri in the name and style of Boro Literary Club Dhubri on the 17th July 1952, with Birendra Narayan Brahma Padgiri as the president and Rajendra Nath Brahma as the secretary. Formation of the organization may be termed as the turning point of the Boro language and literature. Because under the initiation of that organization, present Boro Sahitya Sabha Boro Thunlai Afad was formed on 16 November 1952. The founder president of Boro Sahitya Sabha was Joy Bhadra Hasgir, and the general secretary was Sonaram Thausen. Since inception till today, it has been struggling for the development and survival of Boro language and literature, and hence it can be truly said the history of Boro Sahitya Sabha is the history of struggle. In India education is the state subject and so soon after formation of the sabha it had raised demand before provisional government of assam to implement mother tongue bodo language as the medium of instruction but the government did not pay any heed to the demand so having no alternative the sabha had decided and started its democratic movement from the month of december 1952 The demand was raised on the plea of the Constitution of India to provide facilities to the children to earn education through mother tongue in the primary level as per provision provided under section 350 subsection A of the Indian Constitution. The provision provided in the constitution seemed to be in vain because the provincial government of Assam did not take the needful for fulfilling the demand of Boro Sahitya Sabha for long 10 years. Lastly The Honorable Chief Minister of Assam, Bimala Prasad Chaliha, declared the Boro language as medium of instruction for the primary level in the meeting held in the field of Kokraja High School on 18 May 1963. And since then, 18 May is being observed by Boro Sahitya Sabha as Boro Medium Implementation Day.